All right. There's the music again. What are we up against now? <clears throat> uh, you're. You know, that journey we were going on? What? Uh, as you approach a towering peak, the darkness grows into something almost tangible. The land tells you that this is the source of the blight. You reach out to it, and suddenly your mind is overwhelmed by otherworldly visions of an ancient horror. What? The <clears throat> your vision shows you strange beings attacking. Survive their assault to see the source of the corruption. The Eldrazi behemoth Emrakul. Emrakul. The vision of Emrakul. Um, we're cool. I don't know if we're cool. Scoot! Oh man, I can't wait to use the scoot. Keep it. Boom. Scute. <clears throat> Scute is way too powerful. And if I'm supposed to defeat 100 over here, Scute is what will be required. Skip attack. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't have, but... creating basic lands, yes? Feeling this is going to be a very tough battle. 100 versus 20 is a little ridiculous. I wonder what this thing is. Just gotta keep putting on the putting on the pressure on the throat on this one. Also, give me another land because I need to get this thing start, get this engine started up. The hatcher. So this is a token deck that I'm playing against. Be all fiery about it. See if I care. Jeez. That's exactly what I was looking for. One and two. Confirm. Sure could use my healing uh, guy. <clears throat> Be a dick about it. Hmm. 
<laughs> Jeez. Crown the board with tokens that are just going to be used for her. probably summoning something really big. <clears throat> I got this engine started up now. Uh. Oh, sh sugar. Wasted my freaking. All right. Um. Let me go to continue. I'm just going to only attack with this guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello? Okay. Jeez, take a, take a choice today, Junior. I choose this thing, put two colorless Eldrazi spawn creatures into the battlefield. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Bunch of summoners, huh? <clears throat> Come on. This isn't looking too bright. Put this... And then land first. Watch enemy fighters. Um, I'm going to let the uh, computer decide this one for me, and if it doesn't, then I'm just going to skip attack, because I'm kind of... I don't know what to do... That. I'm going to do that. Because I'm just confused and I'm mad. Hmm. I've barely touched any of these damn things. My, 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 Go. <clears throat> Door is shut. Less of that noise will occur. <laughs> All right. Um, we need this trample. So, yos and babushka.
I made a poor decision. Let's see what happens. Jeez. Uh huh. Until the end of this turn. Yep. Should have saved the land. Please tell me I'm pulling the land or at least one of those land pullers. I don't care. You're, you just keep building up your mana base. We get it. You gotta summon something big, right? It's all these two twos and three threes. What is this? Um, I guess I'll just block one of those. Uh huh. That's not good. Finally. Just wish I didn't play all my lands thus far. Yes. Hit claw recluse. Yeah. So Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, can't be countered when you cast that. Take an extra turn after this one. Flying, protection from colored spells, Annihilator 6. When Al Merkel is put in the graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. So. Yeah. So it's an instant win, I'm guessing. Gee. No, I win. Oh, I'm just supposed to outlast the attack until this is summoned. Jeez, I thought I actually had to fight the damn thing. You've seen too much. The power of the entity hibernating within the land threatens to drive you mad. You scream, clinging desperately to sanity around you. Sanity. Around you. The mountain. The horror within it and Zendikar itself began to fade away.